Now, Teddies, are you all feeling cosy? Excellent. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm just in. Now, all the toys are feeling sleepy and are snuggled up ready for tonight's bedtime story. Are you feeling sleepy yet? Oh, are you sure? <laughs> I think I just saw a yawn. No, maybe not. Well, I want you to count how many times you yawn while listening to tonight's bedtime story. It's called I Dare You Not To Yawn and is written by Aileen Boudreau with illustrations by Serge Bloch. Yawns are sneaky. They can creep up on you when you least expect them. There you are, minding your own business, building the tallest block tower in the history of the universe or dressing up the cat, meow, when suddenly your arms stretch up, your eyes squish tight, your mouth opens wide, your tongue curls back and... <gasps> A yawn pops out. Well, next thing you know, you're being sent upstairs to put your pyjamas on. Pyjamas lead to bedtime stories. Bedtime stories lead to the sleepy time song. And sleepy time songs lead to goodnight hugs and kisses. Before you know it, you're tucked into bed, snug as a bug, and wondering, how did I get here? So, if you're not ready to go to bed, follow these tips and do not yawn. <laughs> if someone else yawns, like your baby brother or your big sister or the dog, Ruff! ah, look away! Yawns are like colds, they spread. Stay away from huggable stuffed animals soft, cosy pyjamas and your favourite blankie because these can make you feel snugly. Avoid bedtime stories about sleepy baby animals like tiger cubs arching their backs in one last stretch, their eyes squished tight and their tongues curled back. Or you might start to feel stretchy too. Don't sing sleepy time songs about twinkling stars or <laughs> barring sheep, especially the counting kind. One sheep, two sheep. <laughs> and whatever you do, don't think of a a droopy-eyed baby <laughs> orangutan holding its long arms out for a hug from its mama. <laughs> its little mouth forming a, a perfect... <laughs> Uh-oh! If you try all these things, but a yawn still creeps up and grabs hold of you, quick, cover your mouth <laughs> to keep it from escaping. Because if your arms stretch up, your eyes squish tight, your mouth opens wide, your tongue curls back, and a yawn pops out. Oh, then off to bed you'll go. <laughs> See, I told you. Yawns are sneaky. <laughs> How many times did you yawn? Well, I didn't yawn even once. Yep. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Whoops. I think it's time to snuggle down like our friends here and yawn ourselves to sleep. I'll see you soon for another bedtime story. Night, night. Sleepy heads. <laughs> Ooh, and another. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.